in this video I'm going to give you a couple of tips or the way that I deal with stress and anxiety and so on in work and elsewhere. And I have a kind of a two-pronged strategy for dealing with stress and anxiety. One is to use a technique, a work technique, called the Pomodoro technique. And it involves working for 25 minutes at a time and then a five minute break. And I've got a little app on my computer. And if I just take a look here at the computer screen, you'll see that so far today, I have three Pomodoros at a long break. I have seven Pomodoros done today and I need to start focusing now. It's lunchtime now, but I have seven Pomodoros done. That means I've got seven periods of 25 minutes done. So that's 25 minutes of focused, focused work, very focused work. And the great thing about the benefit or the benefit of the Pomodoro technique is that you basically break down whatever you're doing into little chunks, into small chunks. So the easiest way to eat an elephant is one bite at a time. Likewise with uh, any job you have or any work you have or any problem or difficulty, what you need to do is you need to break it down into smallest chunks possible. And what I do for every single work day, and I start at half six in the morning, I start with one Pomodoro. And at the end of the day, I get a huge degree of satisfaction and positive feedback because on the screen there, I get a list of, or a series of little red balls indicating how many Pomodoros I've done. So, so far today I've got three and three or six, I've got seven. So I know that I've done seven bouts of 25 minutes of focused, intense, concentrated work. And no matter how big the task is, no matter what workload I have on, I know that if I can give my attention and time and focus and concentration to it, then it's going to make things easier for me. And I'm going to have less distractions because when I'm on, I'm on as it were. When I'm focused, I'm focused. Now, Google Chrome is the browser that I use and Google Chrome has a little extension called a Pomodoro extension. It looks like a tomato. And when I start each day, I click on this tomato and it will take away for 25 minutes and then it'll remind me and float up the screen, take a, minute, take a break. So I take a break for five minutes and so on. I do this until the end of the day at five o'clock or whatever. And as I say, at the end of the day, have a huge sense of achievement because I can look at the screen and I can see 10, 12, 15 Pomodoros and I can go home satisfied that I've given my attention, my focus, my concentration to the work in hand in at least 12 or 15 bouts. That's the first part of my strategy of dealing with stress or anxiety. The second part is a journal that I have or notebook. So this is my journal. And I use this journal, I write in it every day. And there's various methods or various ideas as to how you should be journaling or how you should keep a diary or whatever. This isn't so much keeping a diary. I don't write down events or the events of each day as if, you know, it was a cold day today or I went to Liffey Valley and bought a PC or whatever. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. The benefit of the way that I journal, and you need to be very, very specific and intentional about how you journal, is that I use it to empty my mind. I empty my thoughts, I write them down. And when I write them down, I think there's something therapeutic about writing them down, firstly, and secondly, the act of actually physically writing with a pen. I have a pen and obviously I have my journal and every single uh, day I you'll see there I highlight the day and whatever length the day is or whatever I've been doing or whatever thoughts are on my mind um, I write them down and that act of writing down what's on my mind 
that act of unloading my mind, as it were, on paper with a pen, I find therapeutic. I find it very useful in terms of stress management. So they are the two things that I do. And I think you could find them useful as well. Now, you may have a completely different job to mine. You may have a different work environment to mine. And you almost certainly have. But I think the therapeutic benefit or the exercise of actually having a journal, having a notebook, having a place where you can actually talk to yourself nearly and empty your mind and put your thoughts down on paper. I think that's very, very beneficial. You can do it early in the day. You can do it late in the day. You can do it during the day. And I actually do it during the day because every time I get a Pomodoro break, a five minute break, I may or may not write in my journal. And then there's longer breaks during the day with the Pomodoro technique. So there's a think a 15 minute break. Again, I'll write in the journal. So it's a combination of A, the Pomodoro technique and using breaking down tasks, breaking down the work into chunks of 25 minutes. So if I'm asked to go into an office from say half six or seven o'clock in the morning, I work flat out till five o'clock in the evening. That might appear to be a difficult task, but it's made far, far easier if I was to break that task down into small chunks like the elephant eating or like eating an elephant one bite at a time. So you break it down into small chunks, 25 minute chunks. Look up, if you are interested in this, the Pomodoro technique online. You can get the Google Chrome extension, stick it in your browser and let it be a tool. Let it be a help to you in focusing and doing work and breaking down the big task into small ones. And secondly, use a journal or a notebook and write down with pen and paper and I think there's something therapeutic about pen and paper as well write down what you're thinking write down what's on your mind and the um, important thing is that this journal is for nobody's consumption but yours it's for your eyes alone aside from that you can create a blog if you want to you can publish stuff online which I do all the time but in terms of this journal um, this is for me. Nobody sees it. So the combination of those two things, the Pomodoro technique and journaling, I find very, very useful to reduce stress and anxiety and to make each day pretty okay. Pretty okay. I hope you find this video useful. If you do, give it a thumbs up down below and um, I'd be interested in seeing any of your comments. Maybe you have a technique or techniques that deal with stress and anxiety in your day you might share them down below and uh, other people who watch this video may derive some benefit from it as well. You may also be interested in subscribing to my YouTube channel.